Soil science represents one of the really important frontiers and the biggest opportunities we have to improve the productivity, the resiliency, the sustainability, and the profitability of farming around the world. There's no asset more important to any farmer than soil. And our ability to enhance the soil, protect the soil first and then enhance it, is really critical to any farm operation, including ours. More than 95% of Earth's food production relies on soil. In addition to feeding the planet, healthy soil is used to absorb and retain water and nutrients. Soil contains more than half of the world's biodiversity, mostly in the form of microbes. It is also one of the first lines of defense against the effects of climate change, as healthy soils can combat flooding and hold carbon from being released into the atmosphere. Biodiversity enables efficient recycling of leftover plant biomass, allowing soil to store more carbon than all of the world's vegetation and the atmosphere combined. Erosion and land degradation are major risk factors to global food security. Annually, they compromise the well-being of at least 3.2 billion people. Around the world, it's estimated that about half of the soil is degraded in some way. And that might mean different things in different places. So we're here at LaSalle, Colorado, which is our new research farm focused entirely around soil health. The fundamental question that we're trying to ask is, how do we accelerate improvements in soil health? And then in turn, how do those improvements in soil health affect crop performance, water use efficiency, and profitability? Matt and other members of the soil science team are working all over the globe in order to find solutions to farmers' toughest questions. We are working to understand how we can use soil intelligence to help farmers think about adopting new practices like reduced tillage or cover crops. This is Andrew Hopp. He's the manager here at LaSalle. But for now, he'll help us understand some conservation tillage practices as well as cover cropping. This is a plow. This is very old and antiquated technology. The plow was largely responsible for the erosion problem. When people often think about conventional tillage and tillage of past generations, this is the tool that they think about. Behind me are two pieces of equipment that you will see used in conservation tillage. To my left is a deep ripper. This will be used to loosen up the soil without being as destructive as a plow. To the right is a strip till bar. In an ideal situation, this would be the only tillage pass that you make, loosening up the soil in very narrow strips, making it precise, and only tilling where we plan on planting our seeds. Cover crops are plants that are grown to improve soil health and prevent erosion. Last year, we had a rain event that in one month, we received our annual precipitation. Through that rain event, we had massive erosion and loss of topsoil. To help combat erosion in highly erodible soils, I've planted soybeans in what would traditionally be a fallow situation. We're hoping these soybeans are a cash crop, but they also act as a cover crop. So if we are to have another water or wind erosion event like that, it will help mitigate the amount of soil lost to erosion and runoff. Syngenta is using digital tools to help farmers make better informed decisions every day. In general, agriculture is becoming increasingly digital. We have tractors that are collecting an enormous amount of data. We have satellites, we have drones. We have all sorts of ways of understanding what's happening on a farm. All that information is going to sit somewhere and not be particularly useful unless we have a tool to make it useful to the farmer. So for example, we use our, all of our insights around the microbiome to help develop new biological products that improve the performance and the functionality of that microbiome. Then we can come in under that and say, well, why, right? Like what's the underlying problem? Is it disease? Is it water availability? Is it heat stress? And again, there can be all these tools in the background, but what the farmer can see is a, a recommendation that has not only identified the problem, but also identified the potential cause and then provided a recommendation on solutions. Syngenta's Soil Science Center in LaSalle, Colorado sits on some of the most difficult soil in the country to plant. One of the biggest challenges working with this soil is it has a very coarse texture and very low organic matter. 
that can be an issue when it comes to water holding capacity as well as nutrient holding capacity. This also makes this soil highly erodible. When you're looking at soils, you want there to be high organic matter. You want there to be clay particles. Those are gonna help keep that soil in place as well as capture more moisture and hang on to nutrients for longer. Well, oftentimes, right now, we measure total organic matter and we don't always necessarily measure the quality of it. We need to be able to show up to a new field that we don't have 20 years of experience with, like a farmer might, and be able to have confidence in our ability to assess the health of their soils there. The demand for quality information about soil health is way higher than the supply right now. As key defenders of climate change, healthy soils can hold as much as three times the carbon of the atmosphere. If we think about some of the things already are shifting around the world, more extreme rainfall, think about droughts and heat stress, you know, at periods that are, that are critical for the growth of crops. Those are the challenges that we're facing. And of course, that sits under this broader picture of shifting patterns and temperatures and changes in the growing season length that are happening globally. Some places might not experience, for example, really high heat stress, but maybe they have more limited moisture. So we want to say, what can we do to target that constraint for your system? Behind me is a variable rate irrigation system. Tools like this are important for being able to apply the correct amount of water in the right acre. Field sensors and drone imagery can be used to help understand this water distribution and the lay of the land. Those tools help us understand where we need to apply more and less water. As you can see, the further away we get from the pivot, not only does the crop health decrease, but we get to parts where there's not even a harvestable crop. Farmers can assume risk for a year or two right, in trialing a new practice, but they need to know that it is going to eventually pay off. So what we want to do is we want to tell them, we think this one is your highest probability of success. Now, if you have greater efficiency, that means that less things are leaving your system. And that is kind of the cornerstone of sustainability. An appropriate kind of set of soil health measurements would tell us, are you actually improving that? And so we've been testing things like strip till, practices where we only till a certain strip of land, no-till practices, use of cover crops. We've been capturing uh, runoff in the field. And what we've seen is actually uh, a, a pretty rapid increase in uh, organic matter in the soil. It's really important for farmers to feel like they can actually take steps to improve their soil health. Oftentimes, people can go out, pull a soil test, they go behind the curtain and they come back with values and they say, you should do X, Y, Z things, right? Try that first. See if that recommendation that they're giving or that prescription or that diagnosis actually works. Start small and you know, you'd be surprised what improvements you might see. You know, my expectation was that it was going to take 10 years to start to see some impact. And what we've seen in some of the programs that we've been working with with Syngenta on my farm is that we've seen much quicker improvement. When I think about the future, I think about a world in which we, we have amazing digital tools. We have information about soils from the farm scale to the global scale. I've been surprised at how rapidly soil health can be restored more quickly than the science suggested. So we're looking for other opportunities around the world where we can help farmers quickly improve their soil and the crop performance that they get by improving soil health. Mm -hmm.